Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been watching this YouTuber lately who makes traditional Viking crafts. And so I wanted to do something a little bit more traditional for this paracord bracelet. So this bracelet actually uses minimal paracord. We're just going to be using some microcord for lashing. And then the bulk of it is going to be made out of 3 millimeter leather cord. We also have some metal brass hardware here and then our usual tools. Let's dive right in. All right, so to start off, we just want to cut two foot long lengths of our, I almost said paracord, out of our leather cord. If you have a large wrist, you might want to just leave a couple inches extra. So two feet total, you can just set the rest aside. So the bracelet itself is going to be two strands and we're going to be whipping each end around our, our hook. So to start out, we'll grab that hook here. It looks kind of like a pop can tab. Once I say that, you're not gonna be able to unsee it. So we're just gonna put both pieces of leather through the holes. You'll just wanna fold back about an inch and a half on either side. And we're gonna be doing that on the other end eventually too. So you just wanna make sure that your cord is long enough and you're not leaving too much extra on an end and wasting your leather cord. So once you have that folded back, we're gonna take a length of our micro cord. Just cut off a couple feet. And this is a little bit hard to hold on to all at once. And so sometimes I often use a binder clip to hold on to things. It's not impossible without it, but it's gonna help me out. All right, once that's in place, we're gonna take our micro cord. And I apologize in advance for using black because that doesn't stand out very well on our leather cord, but hey, that's what looks best. So we want our end pointing back towards the rest of the bracelet and we're just gonna make a little bit of a loop. And then we're gonna wrap back towards this side. We've done this a lot of times in past tutorials, just a common whipping. Um, it's also very similar to how you'd construct a barrel knot. So we're gonna wrap around both of those cords, heading back towards the hook end. And I apologize, my fingers are covering things up. This is what it should look like when you get started. Get in focus there. Got our loop, and we're gonna start wrapping around that loop. You wanna pull really tight as you go. So after you get one pass, just pull it nice and tight. And then keep on wrapping around until you almost reach your your clasp. There we go. So now we, that we have a very small portion of leather left, we should have a little bit of loop in our micro cord. Oops. And so we'll just put the end of our cord down through. And then hold that tight while we pull on this other end that we left and that's gonna cinch down this loop. Pull that really nice and tight because you don't want that sliding off later. Both ends actually. And now we can clip both of those ends and melt them down just to kind of hide them. So I'm just gonna cut those about an eighth of an inch from the bracelet. And that leaves just enough to grab my lighter and melt down the ends. And while those are still melted, you can kind of push them up against your knot. Because it's black, it blends in pretty well. All right, so there's our finished whipping on one end. We're gonna grab our two brass tube beads, and I'm gonna put them on both cords. It's a pretty tight fit, and you wanna be careful that you don't scuff up your leather too much. So you just wanna take it slow. All right, so now before we do our whippings between the beads, we wanna figure out our other end so that we know how to center these so they're not um, off center. So on this end, we're gonna do the same thing as on this end, but we don't have another clasp piece for it. It's just gonna be looped underneath and hook in like that. 
So now you want to find the size of your wrist or whoever you're making this for. And I know we're folding it the other direction in the end, but I'm just going to fold it up and fit it loosely on or however tightly you want it to fit. I'm going to go there and take it off. And then just want to keep track of where your fold is going to be. So I'm going to fold back right there, going underneath again, so our ends are hidden. And on this side, we want to leave a little bit bigger of a loop. Um, on our initial side, that got tightened down pretty far, um, but we want to leave, you know, a size of a loop on this end. So same concept as before. Use a binder clip if you need to, and then lay out your loop with your microcord and wrap it around. All right, that took some adjusting to get it just right, um, just fit my wrist size and everything. Um, but now we're gonna clip off those ends as well. Again, just pretty close to the bracelet, and then it'll melt them with the lighter. And then once that's done, you can clip your leather ends pretty close to your whipping as well, once you're sure it's the right size. I'm gonna clip this other end as well. All right, so now that that's done, all that we have to do is make two more whippings, or actually three more, um, between our beads just to keep them in place. So find the middle and make another one of these right smack dab in the middle. All right, so that middle one's done. You can slide your beads towards it and then do that two more times, one on each side of our spacer beads. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. We put out crafting videos twice a week on paracord crafts like keychains, bracelets, and other crazy stuff. So no matter what your hobby is, be sure to stick around. We've got something for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.